What is up, guys? Zach Scott Rodent. here, playing Guardians of the Galaxy. It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. I'm, I'm listening to him. First off, I ain't a hoarder nor a rodent. <laughs> I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it now, Peter Quill. Tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I don't got no units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. <laughs> so yeah, playing Guardians of the Galaxy, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. The official title. Uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks for all the likes on this uh, this video. Last video. There, <laughs> all that stuff. Do not think that I do not know what you were up to. <laughs> You're right. Peter Quill. Order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Groot has the right to some privacy. Ah, now is not the time for pointless civility. <laughs> trying to keep my uh, team together here uh what's up so yeah uh, i've been having a great time playing this game by the way uh really well done and i appreciate you tuning in thanks for subscribing if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed you okay yet there think you could open the door for you a have minute? to <laughs> is that my toothbrush <laughs> great now i need a new toothbrush it's just a tree right is this Drax's place? This Any units Drax. I uncover will go directly to you. But I am unsure the others will do the same. That's okay. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. <laughs> because I'm not either, mostly. In the mostly. kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. <laughs> it's an earth thing. What I mean is you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. <laughs> so this is Drax's room. He looks like he's done some damage to it. Uh, <laughs> see, <laughs> but looks cozy. Looks cozy. Let's uh, let's. Can I leave? Oh no! Can I not? Leave? Can I leave? Can I leave? Will you not let me leave? There we go. Now we're leaving. We're leaving. And uh, hey. Yeah, if you if you've been watching this series and you haven't subscribed yet, now is the time for real. Close this door, guys. Dude. Don't forget to close the fridge. Sure thing, Mom Lord. <laughs> okay. Uh, who's was this Drax's? Yeah, you know, whose room was this? Is this mine? No. Hey, whoa. Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the? Dolls. Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. <laughs> See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. I, you know, I didn't know it would open automatically when you got it. That's the thing. I didn't realize this is my place. Heck yes. Hey, okay. Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... <laughs> I'm, I'm talking to myself here. Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird, and I was the kid. <laughs> Why is she laughing at me? She's meditating with dolls. Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. 
Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Shatari Prime, about three years into my sentence. Wait, Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were, and they also weren't. All right. Got to our cellmates. Whatever, pirate code. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships. Until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yandu ended up on Shatari Prime. With you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out... He could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. <laughs> the music's playing. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged, if that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes. Exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> space dad. Could have been worse. My space daddy. Alright. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> first thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these... gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. Not sure about that, but... I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu? He actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I'd been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yandu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But, it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units too, I bet. Anyway, this, this once is we did, there was no going back. This is really heavy on the backstory. <laughs> <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. No, no, you can stay here. Let's just cuddle. Okay, anyway. So that was that. Uh, what's this? Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. There's some. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be seven thousand nine hundred and sixty-three units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know. I know. We clearly. Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? <laughs> oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. holding out my on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. All right, what do I we will do? sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic oh, mountains yeah, of sure. Kakaran. Guys! Let's, let's hear Drax out. Let's, let's just hear... hear Drax out this time. I don't want to sell her stuff. I want to... Fin Fang Foom is the fiercest, most legendary monster in the galaxy. It shatters the bones of all who go after it. The skulls of the greatest hunters are impaled upon its fangs. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> Imagine the glory of such a death. <laughs> the goal isn't death, Drax. Glorious death. Out of the question. <laughs> well, in that case... You're not selling my stuff! I am Groot. 
I am Groot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he says we should combine both ideas. <laughs> Ow. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foo. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! <laughs> what the heck is he doing, dude? Groot, are you really offering to... No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. <laughs> it's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. <laughs> monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because <laughs> I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. <laughs> I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. So now Peter? I have to decide who we're going to sell. Let's sell... Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside, or... I think Groot's the more convincing monster. I don't know who to go for, but the guy... Like, we could sell... Let's, let's sell Rocket. Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it, Quill. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once yeah. you're in there. But Groot Just could... Just to be 100% sure. You're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. So, so, interestingly, I mean, it's given me choices like a Telltale game, and I play the Telltale hey. Guardians of the Galaxy. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Let's go. Oh, yeah, but lightning. <laughs> yep, no problem. Flying the wrong way. Nah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax. Just one minor adjustment. All right. <laughs> Piece of cake. <sighs> you can't be serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. <laughs> I love scoping. All right, well, Next I got my jacket on. I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters Ooh, the do spinal cord unit can now be discussed in Rocket's room. Okay. Which one is Rocket's room? Right Let me look out here. Help. Because your constant complaining. There's does. lightning. <laughs> You, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? All right, where's Rocket's? Is this Rocket's room? I don't think I went into Rocket's room. What room is this? Just a closet. I thought you'd be thrilled to finally set foot on Seknarf 9 tracks. I am endeavoring to contain this my thing enthusiasm. Looks so Our mission sinister. is of prime importance. Hey, who said really? you could touch that? No, you are correct. I am very eager. I don't go uh, into oh, your room triggers. to touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a Torg. 
I don't snore that loud. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? It kinda looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course. Uh, He's not looking down at Rocket. Thing. He's looking like a forward. Back on Half World, Kree scientists use these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Ugh. Holy crap. Rocket. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay, then let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it... Controls me? Eh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a what? A raccoon? <laughs> or not a raccoon? You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds. Awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. Nice. Well, we didn't know. What I didn't know was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard a die quill. Oh, it's terrible. Rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. I'm sorry you had to go through all that, Rocket. For real. <laughs> He's just leaving. But I'm, st I'm still in Rocket's area. Uh, so that was that. And then, uh, what's this down here? Oh, this is a story? Yeah, I've been skipping these. I mean, like, already the, uh... Anyway, let's see. This, that was probably uh, funny. Why don't we ever get missions on nice, warm, dry planets? Let's oh. continue... Ramitar did this is nice my place again. Because it was dry. What's, that, what's this down here? Okay, okay, yeah. Put that away. And then over here... Oh yeah, me and this my mom. Have been avoided if the rodent had relinquished his hidden cache of units. How many <laughs> times do I gotta tell you I ain't got no units? At least forty-three. That's how many times I've had to deny being a shapeshifter before Drax moved on to something else. I still All have right. my doubts. It's not possible for you to slip into combat armor this fast. I use a lot of lotion. What's this? Eh, it looks broken. Maybe Rocket can fix it. It's another sequence. So these things start sequences. Hey, buddy. I was just uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. <laughs> Too bad this translator's busted. 
I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. All right, the language of trees. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? But Rocket was in the room already. What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait. Do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learned to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. <laughs> so there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. All right, lost in translation. You no, know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I am Groot. Man, those first few years. Do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? <laughs> Half of the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how they hear each other, okay. TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. I'm cooked. Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean... I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you, how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too, before Rocket and... and us. I am... I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. <laughs> Gardeners of the Galaxy. If this thing does have your language in it and Rocket can download it somehow or hack it or... I don't know. <laughs> It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad can he understand me? Chat. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, it's like when I find these items... They bring up like a lore or story or something, and, and, and you know that's what we've been seeing a lot of Ooh, this episode. Glad Corell didn't find that on top of the space llama. Yeah, for real. What happened to the space llama? All right, where are we going? Dry up. That's so what's what up? I do what's up? This mission. I am are we no, ready to- we should not go. We got it. It's different. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Of course. It had to be raining. Right, let's go. Let's, let's just do this. Okay, here we go. I'm ready to play. I ever mentioned how much We're getting I to the action rain. now. Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. Well, we're taking the whole team with us, huh? There's nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good. We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. I wonder how much fighting we're gonna have to do. Because so far there hasn't been a lot of fighting. At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't serious.
seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk. We'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on. At least you won't be bored. Okay, guys. If we just keep our footing, it'll be a straight shot across. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. Space lady and help in this race head on! Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitari trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct and child and subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. <laughs> she didn't do that. That did she? So oh, it's still doing this. Yes! What happened to staying top size so we can keep tabs on the fortress? Still seems perfectly reasonable. This storm really ain't doing it for me, Quill. It is no storm. It's her monstrous breath. Yeah, well, her breath ain't doing it for me either. She doesn't even know we're here. Can we at least agree this was the worst landing in history? What if it's the right planet? It's the wrong side of the right planet! Okay! So maybe this wasn't my most perfect landing. Happy? No! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big robots and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good advice! Whoa. The wind is crazy. Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. I live for danger! Yeah, keyword live! Holy cow. It's a mess here. Oh, I ever mentioned how much I hate being wet? Yes! Pretty times! I am rude. Jeez Louise, I'm getting pushed around here. Mark, not again! Rude says we can hide under him. That is a terrible suggestion! Yes, keep moving! Oh, jeez, I'm going right over to it. Wow. Am I okay? We're okay. Is everyone okay? We should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. <laughs> Uh, guys. Oh, weird. Another weird creature. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. What is this? It's like a jello. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. <laughs> I thought that was blood for a second. Get ready. Here we go. Get ready. We got one. What are these things? I know these These extra creatures will be no match for my knife. I think I missed uh Well, slime's beating up. Oh wow. They're inside. Okay. Okay, so here's the, here's a big problem that I am having. Uh, let's do. Uh, okay, so how about Groot? Trap them. Thank you. And then how about Drax do something crazy? And then Gamora will take care of this one. And then Rocket will do the that one. I'll take your word on 
Man, there's still there's still so many of these. Good more, get this one. Thank you. And then oh, Groot, Groot, tie these guys up because. Okay, Drax. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh oh. Nice to meet you. Hold on, Rocket's suffering a little bit. What's happening? Ooh, what are we doing? I'm a little confused. I'm trying to get it, get here. All right, got him. Oh dang! Almost got him that time. The jelly is charging. Help me out here! Oh man! Yeah, 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 Groot's resistance. They have blades in them. Beats me. It's dead now, though. It's gooey outside. Keeps regenerating. I'm good. Oh, you, the 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 there we go. Got him there. One more left. Dark, pointy set coming your way. There we go. We took care of them all. That's what a monster around here looks like. We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? There's a trail going through the jungle. How do I get up there? Find a way up. This husk climb? should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it at all. How do I? Okay, so I see. All right, sorry. Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. I'll continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. Can you move it, like, even further? Oh, anyway, maybe I can get over there eventually. Great. We made it halfway up. I'm trying to get ahead. Try not to kill yourself on the way up. All right, Rocket. That wind control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. There we go. What the flock? That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Okay, we're gonna close this. This will sound like no lady. Rude. All right, so I can get this. Upgrades available. Now, do I want to upgrade right now? Like, how do I, let's take a look. What do I have to upgrade? Uh, abilities, vantage point, fan, I don't really have anything else to upgrade. What about the other characters? Perks. Charge shot, what about, oh wow, journal. Characters, factions, creatures, tutorials. What about her? Like, what does she have? Deadly strike. So we don't... Yeah, we don't really... So, okay, we have... Okay. Now, what about my... Uh, perks. Firing rate doubled when health gets low. That's rapid reload. Charge shot quickly. Fi quickly pressing fire weapon twice. Charges a shot. Release to deliver. It's kind of weird. Tactical scan, scan enemies with combat, air glide, glide around targets for a short time while shooting, slow time briefly while dodging at the last second, 
Knock down dash. Avoid falling prone by dashing when hit. <sighs> maybe extra health. Super quill punch. Let's do extra health, maybe. Oh, but I don't have enough to do that. Do I? How do I not? Oh, find a workbench. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I thought I, could, I I forgot about the whole workbench part about this. Okay, so we're gonna be over here. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! Oh yeah. We already had our monster. What's she tracking this thing for? For sport. Nothing wrong with a little sport. A girl has to keep busy. You are looking for trouble, assassin. I'm just basically searching Ooh, the uh... mysterious. Found something quilt. Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Oh, please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, mystery goo. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet. It's a monster thing. No, just trying to stay ready. Oh, yep. Shoot, I missed it. Oh crap. Okay, hold on. Don't suppose we can talk this out. Let me out. Shoot. What? They won't let me go that way. I think I have to do this myself. There you go. Got it. Okay, cool. What are we doing? You missed it. Just some jelly, dude. I took care of it. New ability point. I knew I should have come down earlier. Wait. So where are you? Cave with eggs. Where are you? Still checking things out. This place is bigger than I thought. So wait, I have a new ability or something, right? Fan the hammer. Startler releases rapid fire, blaster shots, stealing heavy damage spread across. So how does this work? Oh, it's not an actual ability. So my other vantage point is prolonged. How do you do these though? I don't know how to do these. How do you how do I do my own abilities? You know what I mean? Maybe hey, we'll find um, out soon. Listen, while it's just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. All oh right. dang it. Am I stuck? Okay, cool. What's this? Exactly, do you think you're gonna find down here? I don't know. Caves are cool. Caves are cool. Is that really all you got? Gets us out of the rain, doesn't it? All right, I'll give you that. You done exploring, Quill? Oh, hey, Rocket. Uh, I really need to talk to you. Oh, he needs to talk to me. Like personal stuff, right? Or not? Do you want to talk or what? What's the deal? So, uh, these tracks, Gamora, you're just messing with us, right? Nope. <laughs> Are you frightened, Rodent? I'm cautious. You drive me in this size. I gotta watch out for things that can eat me in one gulp. All right, let's We're go. We're fine. You worry too much. Still no sign of whatever made those claw marks? No, just some jelly dudes. Then it must be out on the hunt. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. Peter Quill, 
I have found the way forward. You sure, Drax? No. Good enough. Okay. Oh, dang it. What the heck? There's further proof that we are not welcome here. We turn back every time we have wanted. We never go anywhere. Who deals with this? I don't know. Rocket! Can you take care of those branches? You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. Alright, you. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. <laughs> there we go. This lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it first. Hey, what about her sister Nebula? Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not Harlot. <laughs> right, right. That too. <laughs> we'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. All right, let's see. There's some sort of something around here. Oh. This should get us uh, some treasure. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it. But statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. True. Something going on over here, too. Where did you learn this clairvoyance assassin? Huh? You never learned to track? Tathians do not chase our prey. We lure them and await the perfect moment to strike. That can take a while. Patience is a virtue. Dang, how'd I miss? I'll get it. Hold on. Uh, now where'd he go? Hey, Quill! You out laying your eggs or something? That is not how <laughs> Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our quilt so special. Interesting. I don't <laughs> Inter <lay eggs>. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. I know they're all alien. I mean, this one's freak. Uh, dead end. That's all right. Groot will help us, right? Is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no. It is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. Put me down. Let's, let's just. We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of fucking sharks. How will we cross? Well, they'll the 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 bridge we'll find with another way. Sing it. Your way out of every problem again, Peter. I do. Not oh. a chance. We both know it's too far for you to stretch across. Oh, really? I didn't know that. <clears throat> All right, let's break this in a second. We can use maybe a tall tree, taller I... than Groot. Wow! I go through it here. It's dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster Planet, right? What's Katari Tech doing on a backwater mud wall like this? Perhaps they can help us. Is there any way to do this quicker? My shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Hey, I found more ruins down here. Drax can do Drax, this. Drax, think you can topple this? Indeed. That obelisk looks promising. That's pretty tall. 
There you go. Good job. I may have angered them. Them? We're being hunted. Great. That's just. All right. Let's try not to wait, fall. Wait. That's your pep talk. Where's treasure? Great place to leave a skull. This looks like a fighting area. Oh. Up, people. Yep. Incoming. Oh, jeez, there's one next to me. Anyone else notice this place looks like a graveyard? Fitting that it shall be littered with corpses. Dang, dude, really? Oh, man, I didn't realize I was such slow health. Let's do that again. So I do have my own abilities, which is awesome. Got to appreciate it when you have your own ability, right? Let's see what this fight's gonna be like once I get involved. So I do like so I not just one ability, I have two abilities. Uh so this and this. Let's do Groot, I guess. Dude, this thing is right here. Dang, are you freaking kidding me? Get him. Dang, get him, please. How do I dodge better? Oh, crap. Dang, he's right here. Uh, let's do rocket. Blow him up, please. Dang it. What the freak, dude? I'm, I'm so hurt. Give me that. Give me that. God dang it. And why are they chasing? How do I dodge these guys? Dang it. What the heck? How do you dodge them? I must be, I must not be know. I must not know how to dodge. Because I thought I knew how to dodge, but I don't think the double tap is the dodge or something. Maybe it is. How much, this whole fight, man, this. Okay, let's see. Hold on one second. Uh, settings. Uh, this is, this is important. Mouse and keyboard. Spaceship key bindings. There we go. Configure. Dash is F. Okay, I've been... So, F. Let's... Wait, hold on. F. Combat. Let's see. Target lock. Melee. Flare attack. Q. I don't see a dodge. Maybe it's F. Here, here. Oof, oof, oof. This one is prime for punishment. Finally, let me at him. That's a dodge, right? Oh crap, dude! What the crap? No. How is that not a proper dodge? Give me those, give me those. I need that right now. Get him. Here, uh, Rocket, get him. Crew, get him. Dang it, dude. Are you freaking kidding me? Dang it, are you freaking kidding me? How am I always suffering here? God dang it, how? How 
How do I? Oh yeah, I can. There we go. Good God. Okay, we got him. We got him. I feel like I'm doing something wrong in combat here. I haven't quite figured out the. Where the flock are we? Just look around. There must be a path here somewhere. All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. Fifty units, us today. He doesn't have fifty units. No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender to cross this jungle in seven strides. <laughs> seven strides. Would have flown over the mountains. Oh, Make up a legend. Now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Uh, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Seven of Nine. Ha, that, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. All right, I'm doing my best to pick up all these like components and stuff. That bridge isn't the only thing, Shatari. Some of these statues look familiar if you catch my drift. If these mouth breathers worship monsters, maybe they'd have seen space bear and bugs as gods. Gamora, mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her tongue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the hold? Here. No. How do we get all the way over there? Just thinking someone else would cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and Plan B, okay? Just go. No, you just go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. <laughs> because I need to cover everyone. Right. All right, let's see what we it's got. It's fine. Perfectly safe. It's gonna, they're going to slip or something. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the one that falls. Yep, okay. Oh, God. Groot says there's something down there. Monster and he's right. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oh, no. What? What? How did I, I wasn't even there to do this. <laughs> okay, well, let's just try that again. Let's just let it load. Let it try again. There we go. Now I'm now I'm able to. Anyway, weird. Thank you, Gamora. <laughs> nice catch. You're welcome. There's one of those Don't get used blocks. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. I got it. Up top. Oh, they're fighting each other? Wow. Oh. Guys, anyone know what that is? Monster. <laughs> <laughs> This is a, uh, okay, health bar. Some enemies have health bars. All right, got it. Dang it, okay. Uh, dang it, dude, are you freaking kidding me? All right, huddle ready. Let's do the. How do I do the huddle? How do I do the freaking huddle? Real circle of life stuff there, Drax. How do I do the huddle? 
Here we go. Let's see what they let's see what they say. Yo, muscles! You blind or something? Me and you. I see perfectly well abomination. And you two are getting in the way of Winning my in the way. Us. You're the one screwing up our fun. Me and Groot stand a better chance of winning this on our own. Winning in the way. More fun winning as a team. Oh, dudes. You guys are totally out of tune with each other. Because you're focusing on the wrong thing. Fun doesn't come from flying solo. It comes from shredding them up in perfect harmony together. Who's with me? This is gonna be fun! There we go. Let's uh can we can we stop him for a second? Uh, Drax, hit him up. Oh, so so there we go. We got we got him. Crap! I think I dodged. Press E to trigger a call to action attack. I see it. Got it. Got to cut off its tail, dude. All right, I did it. I did it already. Amazing. Is he dead? Oh, it's gonna leave. It's Matt. Oh, poor, poor thing. Finish the battle, you cowardly beast. <laughs> Aw, Stumpy's running away. Without its tail between its legs. <laughs> Without it. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. Let us settle. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. How do I get up here? The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Ugh. Yo, Quill, check out the upper wing strut. Looks pretty compromised to me. And then, what's this? If you want to shoot that thing down, you're going to need a better angle. Gamora, you know your ships. What about that loose unit up there? It's covered in fungus. We probably could knock it off, but not from down here. Also, I'm not the one with the gun. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. <laughs> no, weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. Oh, hey, let's do this. Looks like there's one of those biggest workbench things back here. Okay, there we Ronnie, go. Let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just so I think I want more monster. HP. Let's do extra health, maybe. Or extra shield. Hey, Quill, am I giving the old girl a scan? It's extra shield. Maybe part of the ship's still functional. Ding, ding, there we go. Done. More shield, thank you. Okay, we're good, we're good. So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Oh yeah, and then she's gonna do this too, right? Little help, Gamora. I'm not doing that. Okay, so what do I do? Hold on. No, 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 no. You were, you were good there. Again, Gamora. Uh, right there should be fine. Since you asked, this wreck is so rusted out you can hardly see the blue. Long time since the war, and this place is all kind of wet. I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots you bring it down. All right, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Ow, so dang now, it, dude. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. <laughs> Lady Hellbender's gonna look nothing like we think she looks. Is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. I see. I see. 
No giant monster. All good. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. Uh, wait, hold on. What is it? Hold on. Surprise, this thing has been picked clean for salvage. This planet has no place for carrion. Looks like a few cables are all that's standing between the wing and a makeshift bridge. What's that I hear? The wing cables calling down to us? They want a date with your sword, Gamora. Really? I can cut those cables. I just need a way up. You can place it there. I am on this way. rate, by the time we get there, Hellbender so I'm will have moved making on making a platform. I am Groot. Yes, I am obviously being sarcastic. Just say it didn't take this long to get to her. What next, right. Peter Quill? Yeah, she's gonna throw the cut it. This brings back memories. Impressive. There we go. See, that was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I help in spirit. <laughs> All right, slippery wind pummeled treetops. Here we come. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. There it is, Lady Hellbender's fortress. It's still so yeah, far. Figure that for sure. Ha, it is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Distracts. <laughs> What's Captain distracted up to now? There's you stuff here. I'm done. Whoa, 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 guys! There's this totally sweet pile of crap on the ground. Looks like there's a way down here. Whoa! You gotta see this ship! Behold, Lady Hellbender. Let's go! Okay, here we go! Ew. Oh, slimy. What is this? Uh, guys! You might want to wait to come down here. <laughs> Alright. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam voice? Yep, literally jam. Sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. A <laughs> rope, boy. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something. It's like what? Rocket's gonna. How about Groot did something? Quill. Quill. <laughs> oh God. Peter, do something. What the heck is happening? Oh, what? I didn't know this was. A... Did I not? Did I not save him? <laughs> I didn't know how it worked. I mean, it just gave me this option. <laughs> I was so confused. All right, we'll, we'll get a chance to do that again then. <laughs> I was like. Okay, yeah. Can we skip this? Okay, we, do I have to watch this again? You might want to wait to come down here. I was about to unlock a new ability or something. Oh, why the flark is so deep? I don't know how to skip this, so I better hit this quick time event. You think? Sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something. It's like what? Clark, Clark. Clark, Clark. Quill. Quill. All right, here we go. Here we go. Please make it work this time. I don't like it. What's happening? I don't know the lore behind this. What the heck? Okay. What did you just do? Sorcery. So cold. Rocket! Somebody get him out of there! <laughs> Thankfully, that worked without killing us. <laughs> Poor little guy. All 
I, I have no idea what I did. Mind telling us what happened? I don't know. My blast is a. I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls Scott like this. Just, could you, just please the let guns me, alone. Me, I, well, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys. Or <laughs> sorcery. Sorcery. Here we go again. Okay, here we go again. Uh, elemental shots. You can only equip blaster element shots. Okay, one to equip ice shots. It's an ice cube. That's fun. We're so happy for you and your guys, Will. I do like ice cubes. I think I'm out of ice cubes. I think I think I'm out of ice cubes. What the heck, dude? Hold on. I, hold on. We have way too much stuff going on. We fall into the source of the gelatinous creatures. Oh my god. Uh, do something, Groot. Holy cow. Look at all this stuff. Wow. Okay, I like ice shots. That was amazing. I'm thinking we could climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding. Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. It'll be a planetoid, yes. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. Oh. Let me do this. It is more stubborn than expected. Oh, it. Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Oh, is that that's for rocket, rocket. to get in? I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That. Oh, Scott. Ah. You okay in the rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute a little bit of remaining power to the cannon and nothing. You know what, Larkin? I'm blowing it up. What? No, oh, back up, on. back up. <laughs> there we go. you okay? Yeah, and cry now too. All right, so I guess I gotta what freeze it here. There, now we have our way up. And then Gamora can Gamora, cut this can down. Gamora clears the path through that junk. Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Dang it! How do I get up there? Doesn't tell you much. Depends who's head. Whoa! Man, another murder tentacle. Careful. Hey, you think they look like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? I am Groot. You're a cool dude, Groot. I am Groot. Hey, uh, since we got a sec, you've known Rocket way longer than I have. I am Groot. You know he can be kind of unpredictable, temperamental even. Feisty. What I'm asking is, is he gonna be able to go through with this? I am that sounded like a yes. Good. Thanks, man. <laughs> okay. So how do I how do I get over here? I made it. I made it. Heck yeah. 
All right. Where did you guys go? The employee evaluation. Did you pass? That's confidential. Wait, is this? Yeah. In many ways, this kind of reminds me of my home world. That bad, huh? Taff is not a place for the weak. The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know. I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but it's too stubborn to admit it. No, I'm just exploring. What am I doing? Yeah, just you know, turning water into ice. Go off. And then up here. I mean, this is like the. I think the, I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? Exploring. Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we uh, need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent <laughs> work, Peter. All right. Now I got. I mean, this, these type of you know explorations are the key to my upgrade, so that's why I do them. This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours. <laughs> Yours. How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rockets. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Just be less tuned. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like. Knock it off, guys. We're supposed to be professional. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a measly Chitauri installation stop our progress is unprofessional. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. This would be for uh, Drax, I think. It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, not talking. Oops. Not even breathing. Yeah. Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. And Drax, Drax, do it. Can you chuck that through the stink wall? Nice. That is disturbingly fragrant. Disturbingly fragrant. <laughs> Don't throw up. Clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? What is this? Anybody? Oh my god. Okay, that got my blood pumping. <laughs> Lady Hellbender cage this creature. Because uh, it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> Peter! Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got monster work food. Your taste, <laughs> the cage! You get it? We need the cage. We go into that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? <laughs> Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. <laughs> oh, Groot, let's fight it. Is this the one without a tail or a different one? Maybe I'll we'll have to fight both. Oh, both of them. I guessed it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, I got hit pretty hard. I'm stuck here, by the way. Oh boy, uh, make him. Jesus, okay. Uh, holy crap, he got frozen. Well, how'd he get frozen? I didn't do that.
Dang it, I missed the reload. Dang, I missed. Boom! Poor guy. Oh, wow. Are we getting him? What's what's happening? Ah, oh, crap. I was... Sun Freezer, get out of there. Dang! Oh, are you freaking kidding me, dude? Someone attack him, please. Dang, dude, what the heck? Dude, leave me out of this. Alright, so we... All right, got it. We to the <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> what was that? This guy's stuck or something. All right, so, oh God. Dang it, dude, what the heck? Got him, got him. Got him. More! Come to me, beast! Oh, wait, let me go grab the health and stuff. You are coming with me. Oh wow, that's a cool cage. We better hurry. It's freaking out. Uh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True. But especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. Horse hey, around. I just went through the same crap you did, and I smell amazing. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa. Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? 395 million units, give or take two. One for every precious hair follicle on this flawless body. Make a bridge, make a Drew, bridge. Give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy. Hold on, there's some stuff going on. I found like a side path, I think. Go well with Lady Eight. We're gonna fight a monster queen. Nice. You would be a formidable adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender isn't her adversary. Ooh, an awesome if new all suit. Goes well, she's gonna be our business partner. And if all don't go well, then we'll know we should have sold Brute instead. <laughs> Oops. Oh no, that worked. I guess we're getting closer. Whoa, that si is slightly? definitely my top ten fortresses. Yeah, for real, that's really cool looking. Oh wow! You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them. So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. 
Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Ugh. We just can't catch a break. There's always some stupid blah monster or angry space cops or random ship explosion kicking us in the teeth. And the weather always sucks. It does. <laughs> wet it does. and hungry and angry, but damn it, I'm not about to lose this deal after everything we've been through. So I'm gonna march into that ridiculously awesome palace and try to sell the crap out of one of my valued team members. <laughs> I think we've all earned that chance. I am eager to behold the Monster Queen. Let's just get this done. Jesus. Here's the palace. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flarkin' infinity bridge is what it is. <laughs> Why are you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Three cycles. Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh, right. The cage. The point of even getting the flarkin thing is looking like a mean business. Alright, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him! You better have one hell of a sales pitch. <laughs> Remind me again. How many missions have we been on so far? <laughs> 14? 14, if you count contracts. Contraxia was not a mission. It was a mistake. All right. Point is, is I was able to sell you. Gamora. Daughter of Thanos, intergalactic assassin. As a hero. Fourteen times! <laughs> Fine. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Alright, let's try it out. Let's try it out. Here we go. Drat. Gamora, can you help me with this? No. What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. Will you stop worrying so much? You're gonna start growing knots again. <laughs> growing knots. Like the old tree he is. Alright, let's do this, okay. I guess. Here we go. And we're still in the same chapter here. Across the infinity bridge. Whoa. Okay, whoa, whoa. A little bit close. They seem so peaceful here. Never saw a real well when I was a kid. I guess this sort of counts. I'm sure it's real pretty, but can we not draw its attention while I'm stuck in a flarkin' cage, please? Alright. <sighs> Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we can sing <laughs> the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's a beautiful Tall area. Stop. Right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. To measure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 okay, clicks. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> 0.9. 2.1. Oh, wow. 0.3 clicks. Look right 0. next to 5. us. 0 0.4 clicks. Okay. 0 0.5 clicks. How much does it click? 0 0.6 clicks. For the love of the block. Stop counting clicks. Am I zoning out? Oh yeah, we are having a flashback. Let's see. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. So last time I went through the door and then it... Alright. Let's do it. So I've seen all this stuff before. So I don't need to look again. 
Beware of raccoon. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. All right, but how do how do I? I don't know if I can stop the music right now. Close the fridge. Do shove. All right. You can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Is that true? Imagine that. Something growing inside of Oh, so this is why he wanted he didn't want to he didn't like Groot with the toothbrush. Gotta use a restroom. Remember the old wooden toilet lids? Does anyone still have one of those? I don't know where we're going. I guess I go upstairs, right? Warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Oh, hey. Oh, man. This is so cool. Alright, here we go up, up here. Uh, supposedly, you know, this game has a lot more music, it's just they don't play it because I'm a streamer mode on. Oh, it's like a Pac Man well, thing. Well, well, look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. Where's my cake, Mom? <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. Okay. This, this guy, this guy has, has no patience with for his mom. It's a Pac Man cake. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing. I liked your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. And I love Pac-Man. So I guess they got the license for Pac-Man too. Whoa. I'm pushing a- Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? Girlfriends? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Gr girlfriends. Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh. What huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let oh, wow. you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. Uh, what, what qualify? This one's not so bad. You watched The Exorcist when you were younger than me. Of course you would remember that. And then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Why not? <laughs> Pretty please. Pretty please. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... Know. You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. Why not? Why not? Just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. There we go. Ten buckaroos. Something's outside. The, they keep showing that window. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Now, ten bucks. Twenty bucks. That that's a Don't. that's a new ten dollar bill. Ten dollar bills didn't used to look like that in the eighties. They, they that's an oversight. From your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. If you take and a look at that. we can open it together. That has like the United States, you know, Federal Reserve System logo on that far left. That, that the design of that ten dollar bill. Just look, it's more modern than, than they were in the 80s. Google it. Trust me on this, I know. <laughs> All right. What's up? I know the real reason you don't want to finish our game. 
Don't you dare touch that dial. <laughs> I'm gonna go look around the kitchen. I mean, it's like How an 80s kitchen. How are you getting to the movie? I don't Andy know. said his older brother would give us a ride. Leave that alone. I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint. Can I have on some it. cake? The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. What's this? Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. So, wait, where? Oh, hey, dog. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. I don't, did I have a mission to, to go on? Promise me you'll be safe tonight, Peter. We're just going to the movies. What could happen? Is this our game? Mom's pretty close to winning this game. I better move some pieces around. This is how TVs used to be, though. Super small. <laughs> this is a nice, cozy living room. I like it. It's a good living room. I, uh, that, that's the perfect fireplace. They got everything right except for that $10 bill, man. <laughs> Am I supposed to go up here? Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. Whose bathroom is this? It's a nice bathroom. Gotta appreciate the wallpaper aesthetics back then. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Nothing Man, wrong with you. Am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it? <laughs> Nothing wrong with ice cream in the winter. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma <laughs> oh. really had talent. Oh, she painted it. Okay. Excellent art then, huh? Oh, is this a gift? I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? Could she be onto something? Is this my gift? Oh, is this, this is a transition scene. At last. And up next will be the Monster Queen. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.